Good morning. Man, it's a Sunday after uh, a, a big Saturday for UF. <laughs> We're going to talk about all that today. I want to first say, I hope y'all's weekend has been going good. I know Florida State, Miami fans, y'all got some soul searching to do. First of all, Florida State Miami fans, don't go jump, don't go jumping. Let's talk about let's let's talk about character right now. Y'all don't go jumping on other teams' bandwagons because y'all teams suck and y'all want to just see other teams beat teams that y'all don't like. That's that's whole shit, man. All right, so don't do that. That's that's not what you do. Stick with your team. Take these ass whoopings because y'all gonna take Florida State gonna take a whole gang of ass whoopings throughout the year. Just let y'all know, Miami got some hope because they ain't lost in their conference yet. Y'all, y'all, hey, 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 listen. I know it sounds kind of weird, but Miami really ain't lost a bad game yet. Miami had a pretty difficult first three outs. You get Alabama first. Sorry, I'm driving from the gym. But you get Alabama first. You get Appalachian State, who who should be in, 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 in the FBS, who should be in a Division One, at least in somebody's conference. You know what I'm saying? Some, some, I don't think they are P5, but they should be in one of the conferences that really, you know, Conference USA or something, that, that they should be, in, unless they are. I don't even know. But they play Division One ball. They're known to give people hell. And then you get Michigan State, which, yeah, they had them at home, but we all know that Miami ain't like the Orange Bowl. You know what I mean? Let's let let's let's tap into that real quick. One of my homeboys told you know brought the question up. How many? What was your what is your home record like since the Orange Bowl was knocked down? We looked it up. Miami is a hundred wins and I think sixty nine losses. Now take in mind before that. Miami had the longest home winning streak of all time in the Orange Bowl. Yes, the teams were different. Yes, they had some ballers, and and, and but it, the mystique of the Orange Bowl made a difference. It was their home field, you know, after the Dolphins left. It was Miami's home field. It wasn't, it, 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 it had a, a something to order. Them little ragged ass stadium, that ragged ass stadium when the wind blow too hard, you'd be up at the top and then be swinging. That's that's Miami. Now they moved. Even yesterday it was sad. It was pitiful. You watched the game. You saw it looked like 1,700 people was in them stands. And then they had the audacity to talk about, oh, it was loud in there. It wasn't loud in there. Michigan State felt like they was at a practice with, with their music on. So you got to understand that Miami, Miami in the crossroads, man. It's almost to the point y'all build that stadium in Coral Gables and say fuck it, or y'all go and, 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 and do a little better in the marketing because Miami ain't gonna be the same. Miami, the kids are leaving Miami. They don't even like being in Miami. People are trying to go somewhere else. They ain't no mystique no more. It's over. Stop talking about your history. We don't want to hear that no more. The you ain't gonna be back until y'all figure out how to get with the times. Stop talking about Ed Reed and, and, and Michael Irvin old ass still wearing skinny jeans. Stop talking about that. We don't care about that at all. Damn all them old ass niggas. Hey, damn them. We don't care. Shut up. Miami need to take a new turn. They need to get Manny in a situation where he is out the door. Unless he go back to defensive coordinator, if he can focus on that, he's a good coordinator, great coordinator. Just some guys don't make that turn. Don't 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 get me twisted and say that all coordinators can't because there's some great offensive defensive coordinators that turn into really good head coaches. I mean, Belichick and all of them were, were coordinators. So it, it, it doesn't say it can't happen. It will. I mean, they, it's just Manny is not that guy. You're going to have to find a guy. That does like when Mark Rick was there it was making a turn. It's almost the Butch Davis idea. It was making a turn, then they needed to put another guy. They thought Manny was the guy. They need another guy. Now, and they always trying to get guys with the old mystique. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they don't need a guy that has that old mystique of Miami still on him. You know that little musky. I'm still Miami guy. 
Maybe they ain't got that no more. But not to knock Miami. Miami still can play and win in their conference. Clemson ain't looking that great. Yeah, all right. They ain't the Clemson left for the past four years. We can all bounce for that. North Carolina looked like they didn't kind of woke up. And, 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 and there's teams in that conference that are good, but Miami can play with those teams. Miami, they had a hard draw. Now on the Florida State, Florida State is on the total opposite end of that shit, which they ain't had no hard fucking draw. Florida State has had probably the easiest go at it. Except for Notre Dame, which we see Notre Dame. All right, Notre Dame is Notre Dame. Notre Dame is not NBC 1988 Notre Dame no more. Notre Dame is got good players. They, they, they got a great academic institution. So what's happening is they're getting great players, but they ain't getting all the dogs. You know, you might run and get a Jalen Smith every now and then. You got the Hamilton kid that plays safety that's, that can play anywhere in the country. He's that good. But you ain't got 22 of them. The running back, I don't care what y'all say, he good there and all that, but he wouldn't, he he, he couldn't go and play at an Alabama or Georgia or, or or shit. He couldn't he couldn't go play at an Ohio State and just start. He's 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 he's, he's a he's a mid tier guy. So all these all, all these old Notre Dame is this and that Notre Dame and Notre Dame is Notre Dame. So Florida State could have beat Notre Dame, cool. But now you see the real Florida State. You get down into teams that just don't have, ain't afraid of Florida State no more. You got Apple. I mean, too, who they lost to Jacksonville State? Didn't they go and lose the Wake, Wake Forest? Wake Forest was better than, no, than Florida State. It wasn't no, oh, well, they got lucky. No, Wake Forest was better than Florida State, man. Period. And, and, and you talking about five Mike Norville like you did Willie Taggart? Ah, what, 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 what you gonna do? You gonna tell Dion? You, the only hope you got is Dion Sanders. That's the energy you need. You need prime time Dion Sanders energy. You don't need to go and get somebody that you think was good in in Division One AA. You, 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 you hear me? I don't know if y'all following me or not, but you don't need that. Let me get out of this sun real quick. Let me tell y'all something. The only thing I ain't going to say, but I heard this from uh, uh, not an insider, not anything like that. I heard this from a guy that is former alumni, former player, played on some great teams, uh, you know, played with some great players. Um, you know, yeah. You, Deion Sanders is the energy you need. Period. Point blank. So now, if we're going to continue the conversation, Florida State is in peril. I don't care because obviously I'm a Gator fan. But I feel bad for Florida State. I have a little empathy for them guys. They they they, they need they need help. I don't even know. The rest of their schedule is, is, is up for grabs. <laughs> you know, there's no comeback for that. So getting back to my point at the beginning of all this, please... Florida State, Miami fans, don't go jumping on Georgia, Dick. Don't go jumping on Alabama or, 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 or Ohio State or, or, or Tennessee or, or anybody like that. Don't go jumping on they, they bandwagons because y'all salty, because you're bitter. Don't do that. Bitterness does not do anything. That shows your character is flawed. Florida State has a flawed character. When Florida losing, we losing. When we losing, we losing. I'm fine with that. We got to figure out how we work now. It'll always be a little in the, oh, well, we ain't happy with this. We, Florida fans, we a little, we a little, I don't know, we a little um, spoiled in a sense. But right now, we carrying the state. Getting to the Florida Alabama game. Here's one of the issues that y'all got to understand. I, hear, I see a lot of Florida State, Miami fans, because that's why I live in Florida. So all my friends, most of my friends are from here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the state of Florida, and that's all they want to talk about. Let's let's just remind people about football. I'm looking at the Alabama game yesterday. Alabama's a great team. And they're young. They got a lot of things they got to fix. They found out a lot. Alabama's going to be a lot better when it comes down to SEC championship if they can win out. They still got Texas A&M. That's going to be a tough one. Ole Miss always gives them hell, and they got a quarterback out there throwing the ball 100 million yards. So 
they got about three tough games because LSU going to play them tough, even though LSU ain't good. LSU will play them tough. They got them in Death Valley today, this year. So you look at that and put that to the side. And Arkansas ain't no pushover right now. So you look at those. Alabama still got a rough go just like Florida does. So they're going to be better. They're going to have to be. Florida had a lot of, we had a lot of fixable mistakes yesterday. Everybody talking about more victories. I ain't talking about more victories. I'm happy because of the fight that we had. We didn't just lay down. We were down 21-3 going into the second quarter, people. 21-3 to Alabama. Now, I can go back and compare to when Miami was down 20, what, 21 to the zip going into the second quarter or first, in the beginning of the second quarter. And they died. They got killed. It was over. By the end of the second quarter, you knew halftime. We going in there. Miami dead. We fought back, Florida. So we going to look at this and then take from that. No more victories. Just we good. We straight. Three PIs. Well, two of them from in money downs. Fixable. Field goal. Better be fixable. Started off real, real hype, over, overplaying things, missing tackles. First quarter, fixable. Make a tackle. You make a tackle in the, in the, in the front, on the first drive, Travez Johnson, you make a tackle. Number 16, you make that tackle. Instead of overrunning it, being hype, and trying to make the big play, you make that tackle, break down, wrap him up. He might drag you for another yard or two, but let your people get there. You make that tackle. We out of there. We get the ball back again. They punt. Fixable. Offense started to click, started to find things. Dan Mullen started to figure out where, where, where Alabama is letting, let, giving us stuff. That's all it's about with Alabama. Being, being in the point where we can get stuff from them. The middle was open when, when we ran with certain motions. We could run the ball. Think about that. We were actually winning the front line. They can't, certain things you can fix, but physicality you can't fix all the time. You want they gonna lift more weights? Their, all, their defensive ends are small. They talking about old 31, all that 31 quick. He got instincts, but he's small. When we ran at him and ran, when we ran edge plays at him, we let him take himself out, and that's where. And then we ran in the middle. He's not a middle guy. Their linebackers are fast now. The, the, the kid from Tennessee or wherever he's from, he's fast. He can move. But when you run at him, he's, he's a slicer. He ain't going gonna, gonna, gonna to take on those, those blocks. That's why, that's why we beat Tennessee. They can fix personnel. They can put different guys in there, but they can't fix physicality. So if you want to be honest, we were a better team than them for two and a half quarters. We beat them 26-10 from the second quarter to the end of the game. Put that in your, put, just, just put that together. We make a field goal, we in overtime. Let's just go there. Or... He hands the ball off at the two, two yard line and stop trying to read, 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 deep read. You don't need a deep read on, on, on that. It's too take too long. He took too long on the deep read. We get stopped. Give the ball to the man and go. Let him let let him let him jiggle around and see if he can get physical with somebody. He holding on to the ball, trying to get the ball from you, and you won't let him go. The dude saw the hole. That's why he grabbed it. Malik Davis saw that. That's why he was holding on, uh, EJ. Little decisions like that. Fixable, bro. Fixable. I like us for the rest of the year. Georgia can't score. We can play defense on Georgia. We can score. We'll fix some things on Georgia. Georgia have has played teams that that especially especially when you come to Clemson. Clemson, you could say that Clemson offense just ain't where it used to be. A lot of lot of defections gone, a lot of T, a lot of players gone. Clemson is not Clemson right now. Georgia, get one team that can put some points up on them, you're gonna see a real Georgia. That's simple. That's plain and simple. 
<laughs> now getting to everything else, the rest of the country, just real overview, Oklahoma ain't the same, Penn State, okay, Auburn still got to, Auburn, Auburn going to be a tough out for Alabama too. All tough out, Tennessee at home. We got Tennessee at home. Kentucky going to be tough as hell for us. And then we're going to mess around and play Georgia on a high. Because I think that we ain't no hangover after this Alabama game. I think we got confidence now after this Alabama game. We know what we need to fix. We went in back in the locker room after that game ready. We got, well, let's get ready this season. LSU in trouble for next year, from this year. Last year, for the shoe. Remember the throw? Remember we throw the shoe? In trouble. We finna beat their ass. LSU finna get a well whooped ass because of the shoe. Nothing else. They gonna be hyped. They gonna have it at night. They gonna look tiger. They gonna have Mikey 17 out there trying to eat people. Everything. We gonna beat their ass. That's my overview. We'll see either Texas a and or Alabama. I don't know if Arkansas got the, got the, got, got the power right now. But Texas A&M, Alabama in the, in the SEC championship. And in Florida State, let me just tell y'all something. Florida State at the end of the year, 117 to, to 5. We're going to beat Florida State so bad because we got them back at the swamp. They 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 can't just say, oh, well, we, we didn't play. You know how Florida State try to swivel. They they do some whole shit and be like, oh, well, we didn't play. So now it goes, no, uh, it's in the record books. We are seeing y'all at the swamp. It's going to be like a blackout or something. We're going to do some old wild shit for y'all. We're going to do some old fun. We're going to have like candy cane jerseys on with, 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 with Florida, with, 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 with Albert doing the, the, the twerking. We're going to have Albert twerking on the helmet and uh, candy cane uniforms on for Florida State to beat y'all ass. And the, the, the field going to be paint, painted orange uh, with, a, with a hit uh, 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 a hit of future. That's how we're going to play y'all, Florida State. We're going to play y'all in candy cane jerseys, Albert twerking on the helmet, future Florida field. Everybody wear future against Florida State. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, asses. But that's just my analysis of uh, Saturday. Miami didn't look, Miami looked terrible. Florida State, as we know. Wake Forest ain't no top tier team, Florida State fans. Just throw that out there. For y'all who saw it thinking, oh, you know, Florida State fans, quick to flip it. Oh, well, you know that Wake Forest. Ooh, that is Wake Forest. Exactly. That's Wake Forest. That's Wake Forest. <laughs> exactly. Wake Forest is not that good. Wake Forest is not what you want them to be. They are not. They are not going to win no national championship this year or play for no national championship. They sorry. They are okay. I mean, they're going to they gonna beat some of the teams in the ACC, which, fine. They might upset a team or two, but they are, it's here to say upset. They're not guaranteed to beat nobody, Florida State. They're not good. So stop, Florida State fans, stop trying to validate your ass whoopings. Uh, Appalachian State, oh, they, oh, they, they you know, they almost lost to Appalachian State. Appalachian State will beat Jacksonville State and probably beat Wake Forest. And they, I think they play Notre Dame this year because it'll be a damn good game against Wake Forest and Notre Dame. That's what I'm telling you. So stop. You know, stop. Stop. Miami, you need the Orange Bowl back. Uh, Manny is not the guy. Manny is supposed to be a defensive coordinator in the day. They running back. He calls the defensive plays, fellas. Like, Dan Mullen calls the offensive plays. I got one more minute. Dan Mullen calls the offensive plays. You saw how the offense progressed during the game and started winning and started throwing and scoring? Because Dan Mullen is the offensive coordinator also playing as a – he's being a head coach, but he knows what he's doing on offense. Manny is supposed to be a defensive guru. He's been out there stopping people. Manny is not a head coach. And – for him to I actually look, make, let let Michigan State go out there and run around like that. Number nine is now on somebody's watch list for the NFL because of the Miami Hurricanes yesterday. Think about that. Manny, tighten up. Go Gators. Let's go get it. We got a whole good season to go. Love y'all. Peace from Florida.